Thanks very much. Okay, are we here? We're we here. Okay, great. So many of you are studying business or economics or things like that. So today I want to share with you a very important theme uh, that I have developed over the years called friction is fiction. Uh, and if I go to this slide, the next slide, you can tell what friction is. Anybody have an idea what this is? This is my iPad after I downloaded 30 movies for three euros each. Okay, it told me because it's only active for four weeks where you have to actually watch the movie. Uh, if any of you are foolish enough to actually do this, you'll find out the same thing. It's 24 hours, you have to actually finish the movie, otherwise it's gone, has expired. Right? This is the kind of friction that we're experiencing in media today because we're not supposed to share the movie or watch it when we want, but within a certain time, and we're supposed to sh actually pay a lot to do uh, for that pleasure. So now we're looking at all these things, these are examples of friction like region coding or paywalls, DVD region coding, or you can't uh, connect a certain display to your computer because there's copy protection. Right? So this is actually becoming quite rare because most people don't actually buy these things anymore. Right? But this is what friction is all about. It's some sort of hurdle. You know, it's the opposite of liquid and fluid. And this is happening, for example, all over the web. It used to be if we want to book a plane ticket, we have to call the agent, you know, 20 years ago, and they were able to do what we do today on Expedia or Kayak or any of those TripAdvisor. So there's less friction now, but lots of hurdles to enforce a payment, you know, sort of a fight for the money, and of course holding up the consumer at gunpoint to extort money out of them. That's the whole idea of friction. Now, I think in a networked society currently 2.2 billion people on the internet, 4.6 billion on mobile phones, which very soon is the same. That's going to be very difficult to not be able to share a digital book. I mean, what kind of idea is this? We can't share something we have purchased. We're supposed to download it for free and then share. Uh, and of course, the record industry, where I spent lots of time in the past on, they have a very interesting mantra, the IFPI, the Federation of Phonographic Industry says protecting intellectual property is the key to driving the digital business. None of us minds protection of intellectual property, but it's not the key to driving it. The key to driving it is, is engagement, is to make it fluid, to make it work, right? So now in our minds in the past, we had this paradigm, essentially a very simple paradigm, a dinosauric paradigm, control, friction, dominance means money. Big companies, big labels, big broadcasters, big business, big, big banks, big people, all right? We make money this way. Now, in the network society on the internet, all of you know this is not going to pan out. This is not going to work, right? We're going to move to a different society. Here's an example of what happened in the, in the movie business, in the music business. Right? We're seeing this paradigm of the recording industry play out very nicely. The average person consumed $70 worth of music in the US. 10 years ago, now it's down to 26. The music industry has uh, shrunk by 71% based on the paradigm of keeping friction. All of you, I can bet right now, very few are still buying CDs or even downloading from iTunes because there's so much friction in the process. I use Spotify, anybody here with Spotify? Which I love, that's fluid, right? <laughs> Give those guys all the power, right? Look at this, what happened into the Times UK since the paywall went up, traffic went down 81%. That's what friction will do to your business. Now here is a good example from uh, the Ignition Conference. Google's value, as opposed to News Corp, who is one of the uh, key friction generators in the, in the business, Rupert Murdoch, right? Now we're looking at the value of Google being, you know, they are liquid, right? <laughs> right? The Google guys are liquid. They make it fluid for us. You can say that there are disruptors and everything, but they make it liquid. This is very powerful stuff. Now, if we look in the future, this is the future of business and, of course, of media. is fluid, organic, harmonious, smooth, easy, wanted, social. This is why Facebook is going to be the biggest media company on the planet when they go public this year with over a billion users anticipated by the end of the year, every fourth minute spent on Facebook on the Internet. They are making it fluid, the old guys are making it friction. So Facebook is, you could say, a friction killer. I mean, I don't think there's anybody here who is not on Facebook, so I don't have to ask. Right? 
it's killing the friction of not getting stuff. It's connecting us to make it work, mobile devices, and of course, social networks, they're all friction killers. As you can see here, in the, oh, the analog world, we have this way of having old devices, that's really friction, and the new devices are networked, they're fluid. Right? They actually talk, talk to each other, machine to machine communications. In the classified market, Craigslist has killed newspaper advertising, classifieds, because Craigslist is liquid. It's fluid, and these guys I have to buy the paper to actually read the ad, right. so that's not liquid. You guys all know this guy from, you know, you're way too young to know this guy, actually. <laughs> so this is the beginning of the internet. When they said, 1998, 72 million downloads in about two weeks of this software called Napster for free sharing. I'm not saying that's a good idea to share it all for free. But this is a very powerful thing. What happened today is you know, now actually we're getting the jukebox in the sky. TDC Play, Spotify, Play Louder, Simfy. It took us 12 years to find out that this is the only way forward is to make it fluid. Fluid is actually inevitable. For books, for music, for publishing, for business, for energy, for education, fluid is inevitable. And we can say we don't like it, because obviously it may make things harder. I would love you guys to buy my book, which happens to be called Friction is Fiction. But <laughs> it's free on the internet because I prefer it to be fluid and then you can buy it. So it's a different approach to how I like to do things. And in a content industry, we're facing this future, which is difficult, but it will be a lot more fair and a lot more prosperous going from the copy economy to the access economy, the switch of the two. And, of course, the copy economy made money from friction, while the access economy makes money from uh, access, from liquidity. This is Amazon, just a few weeks ago, or a month ago, uh, three months ago, I think, they connected my Facebook profile with the Amazon shopping basket. Now, I call that liquidity because they make me see what my friends have liked. That makes it much better for me, much more liquid, and I buy a lot more stuff now. That's a great example for making it liquid. We're living now in a society where we have real leverage. The consumer has leverage because all of a sudden we're connected. We're not going to accept a lot of friction in our lives. I mean, as you can see with airline travel or, or hotels or restaurants, we, are, we want to have a liquid environment. So Kevin Kelly, who's a great writer and the co-founder of Wired magazine, he said, we're living in a flowing environment where data flows all over the place you can see here the growth of data. Now, the constant flow of this data means that we're becoming so powerful that friction as a business model is dead. Because now we have radical transparency. In fact, so transparent that sometimes we're wondering if we still want to be part of it to be so transparent, because it's like publicity. You know, we're not private, we're public by default. Also a big discussion point, which I could spend another 180 hours on, rather than just 80 minutes. But I think, to summarize this, we have to reduce control to get more market share. And this is now happening in the car business, the travel business, the banking business, and of course the media business. My uh, good buddy Neil Perkin put up this slide, which I love a lot. It's like, I think we're looking at a toxic assumption to think that if we can have more friction, we'll make more money. This was before the internet. So in the media business, it's all about making it liquid. It's all about creating things because now we are, as Kevin Kelly again says, we're no longer people of the book. Well, in many ways, you could argue we're still people of the book, but we really are people of the screen. I mean, as you can tell, all of you are messing around with the eye, you know, if you were allowed to, of course, Blackberries and so on, as, as we're doing this, right? We're now people of the screen, and people of the screen will not accept the same limitations that people of the book. And we may still have books, of course. I hope we have books. I love books. But the paradigm is changing. We have to move into a liquid environment. And this kind of idea of a walled garden, telephone companies, Apple iTunes, which I like, but still just as walled, a lot of people are questioning now. They're saying, is a walled garden still a good idea? And I think that people have accepted friction before, but now they demand liquidity. So if you're starting a business or thinking about the future, for example, here, iPad apps, that uh, about four months ago when it came out, 
Lots of people said iPad apps are fantastic. And Murdoch said, that's going to be the revival of newspapers. Right? Of course, little does he know, of course, nobody keeps buying these apps, which are once again supposed to be full of friction. Some people are still buying them, but it didn't work out if you look at the numbers. The idea of recreating friction has failed. So that's a very important scenario. I think in a network society, interaction comes before transaction. Starbucks is the best example. Every Starbucks fan on Facebook drinks twice as much coffee. That's a fact. The 17 million people who follow Starbucks on Facebook, they consume twice as much stuff in the real Starbucks. That's interaction before transaction. The latest Radiohead album just came out. Great album. Very liquid because you can buy it for six pounds and you can buy a WAV file if you like high quality for nine pounds. I would call that a liquid, fair price, easy access, a fluid approach to the problem. I get asked this question all the time. It's a hairy question. Right? Does liquid or fluid mean free? The answer is it does not. Don't confuse fluid with free. Okay, fluid just means you charge at the right point. You monetize at the right point, not before. This is a key question when we're talking about content, of course. It's not a question of free versus paid. Look at Netflix. People love Netflix in the US. Now has 22 million subscribers paying $10 a month. And they're happy to pay. The same goes with all the other providers, as you can see in the slide here on the other side. So here's the bottom line. In today's society, in a networked world, in your future, because you're going out after you study and learn all these smart things here, it's about lubricating. It's about making things fluid, not about putting sand into the transmission, making it slower and making money this way. It's about what Amazon has done. Good example again from Amazon. I should get points from them for this. Uh, <laughs> or stock better, a stock would be better. Uh, Great example here, two weeks ago, I get an email in my inbox. It says, now Amazon is giving you 5,000 movies for free. Free streaming on the internet. Of course, it turns out you have to be in the US to click on the link and make it work, right? So there is a bit of friction left there. I, I have a US account, so I couldn't actually get to it, right? But Amazon is giving all of the people who have free shipping, premium service, no matter if you buy anything, 5,000 movies streaming for free. Now that's what I call liquid. And how do they do that? They pay for it because they figure, I love them more, I buy more stuff. It's as simple as that. So here's my summary in today's world, looking forward, and I think I'm beating the 18 minutes. Uh, in this world, you have a choice between the two, friction or lubrication. I think you should choose liquid and fluid. And that's my presentation. I thank you very much. I, I have an iPhone app and various other things where you can see what I do, here's my book. <laughs> it's, a, it's a free book, so there's, there's no friction there whatsoever. You can go to frictionisfiction.com and, and have all the choices how you want to get it on uh, as a PDF or as a book, as a debt-free version, as much as you like. Thanks very much for listening.